why don't you just say hello everybody welcome back to another video my name is Josiah I'm Jasmine's son Jasmine is my mommy I love her so much <laughs> he's looking at me like <laughs> um hi everybody welcome back to another video so um this video is just like me and the baby we just chilling we just chilling um i just got off of work it's been a long day for both of us like we have both been exhausted Egg exhausted so um let me just get right on into it um and sorry for the rattling that's the the air conditioner but i'm not turning it off and I'm not going downstairs to record because with the lighting um, and the lack of um, AC, it, it feels like <laughs> HE double hockey sticks. And um, I am, um, I have a visitor for, uh, what you know, what you know about that? Well, yeah, she she's gonna be here for um for two more days. Yeah, so not doing it. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. So, um, pretty much what I wanted to talk about today was I have been kind of getting a lot of attitudes. Like, a, a lot of just random attitudes, you know, from a lot of random people that so happen to be female. Um, yesterday, I got into it. It wasn't anything serious, but it was just, um, it just caught me kind of by surprise. And it was kind of like, it was like off for me. Like, I don't know to receive this type of energy from this person, but I already knew that she was perfectly capable of, you know, releasing that energy or, you know, holding that energy. Um, because when you have certain vibes, of, you know, about people, your instinct immediately, you know, says to you like, okay, I don't like, I don't like this. But sometimes we can make the mistake of being so dismissive with people and I'm learning, I would say still learning, because I have, I don't feel like I've mastered, you know, a lot of things yet, but I'm learning to, you know, leave that alone, don't even give, excuse me, don't even give enough time or energy into, into even saying that you don't like that person based off of, you know, their aura or, you know, because they do things that you are not used to so i knew that she was perfectly capable of you know giving off that energy and, and you know i just didn't want to be bothered with it didn't want to be around it so i never went out my way to um to really try to pursue like a, a friendship with the the girl and of course too i mean in a professional setting i just don't um, I learned the hard way. I learned the hard way of not mixing business, you know, with pleasure or, you know, being befriending people um, in a work setting. And that's not to say, you know, um, that I, I would advise not to, but that's not to say that, you know, you can't go out and, and have like, you know, um, like a, a lunch with someone I would say keep it very brief if you do go out for lunch don't spend more than 30 minutes and I know that sounds like so strict it's like how can you break the ice but when you realize that you only have like x amount of time and this is like the basis of this whole thing you know more of what to do with that time versus if you sit down with somebody and you know you're like this is after work and if you sit down with somebody you're like okay well nine times out of ten everybody's like oh i need a drink to loosen up or something like that 
then you know you're giving yourself more time just for like errors and, and things like that but um you know if you give yourself 30 minutes that's just to get to know somebody boom bam get in get out um but pretty much yeah i just i i just learned that it's really not worth it to say that you don't like somebody to say that you you know you just got to learn to say hey that's we're not on the same page here you're not my type of person but you are you are my type of person you are yeah but um you know that that's just that's just that part um we got into it I felt like she was she was feeling some type of way about me because I was associating with a girl that she didn't like and yeah you know like I'm in my 20s but this this woman she's in her early 30s and I was just thinking I'm like dang I mean how old are we are we you know we teenagers are we in high school um I just I wasn't feeling that and I'm like there's no way that I would even take somebody else's point of view or something that um that they've been through and just be like boom I don't like the person because people are so finicky people are so so difficult so unstable okay at the end of the day like even I confess to unstable um that you cannot really place judgment on people because at the end of the day we are all still learning so will I take an account and say okay you did xyz to this person but you know I don't like you or whatever no I'm gonna say you I'm gonna take an account and say hey you did xyz to this person and I will be mindful of that um but it to me at the end of the day it's not worth me talking about I don't like somebody because I'm like I'm I'm grown you know um and I will say too that I this might sound messed up and I'm sorry home girls if you are watch this but at the end of the day y'all I really don't have friends like I I don't have friends I don't have um I don't have people that I besides for like my mom my baby my dad I mean, even my dad sometimes. I mean, I'm just saying, besides from my parents, my boyfriend, my baby, do I have people that I I want to talk to every day? Like, on the regular? And the answer is no. I'm sorry. Um, I I don't have that capacity in my mind, that type, that amount of capacity in my mind to give to all of these people and myself and turn around and give to friends um now that's not to say that i won't be there if somebody needs me but when life happens you know nine times out of ten i'm i'm trying to go over it with myself and i feel like the only person that is gonna really guide me through and bring me through that would be god so i just i just don't I wouldn't consider myself to have was that a thank you you're welcome um I wouldn't consider myself to have friends and I don't want to sound harsh when I say that and I don't want to sound like I'm being fake I'm just saying like y'all know I don't talk to y'all every day so if y'all watching this like you know I don't talk to you every day so don't don't be trying to get no attitude don't call me I don't want no angry text messages no nothing y'all know what it is so um but pretty much I just you know I just wrote a I wrote today on my Facebook I said that you know when you realize that your time and your your energy 
is an allowance you consider it to be like a complete blessing you consider it to be something extraordinary something where you start to invest you you are so so mindful so sensible of where you invest your time and your energy into because guess what it's something as simple as saying oh i don't like somebody you know and definitely don't go around telling people that you don't like somebody because guess what you are now if you tell somebody if something happens and you tell somebody yeah yeah if something happens and you tell somebody like oh i don't like that girl because it is that guess what every time and especially too this happens all the time like i i've seen it happen so many times when you're around that person that you just said to that you don't like the other person so say for instance if you don't like a girl named sarah and you're telling taliqua i don't know why but you're telling taliqua like you know what i do not like sarah like i'm not feeling her she she ugly she stinks you know you know the little face stuff girls we talking about her nails is ugly she thinks she all of that her lace always be showing it's goofy stuff guess what okay every time you are around taliqua sarah just so happens to be around you are now obliged to feed that energy and that is something that <laughs> well it's not funny baby it's scary because guess what once you feel obliged to feel to 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 feel that type of energy to feed it to fuel it something very ugly and nasty is going to be deeply rooted in you it is and next thing you know it won't only be you don't like Sarah because of her physical features or because she thinks she all of that, because her lace short, because all this and that. You're not going to like Beyonce. You're not going to like Mary J. Blige. You're not going to like, you know, I'm just saying like, you know, just just random people. You're not going to like, you know, uh, Joe Osteen because everybody swore up and down that he done had cosmetic work. It's their prerogative, especially... Well, you got something to say too? Huh? <laughs> and look, I'm just telling y'all, you, you, you're gonna find every little thing wrong with this and that person because guess what? Something is deeply rooted in you. And for me, I say that because I say that to say this. I don't have that energy. I don't have that energy. I need enough energy for this little sucker. Okay? I need I need the energy for him. Okay, I need that energy for you. For you, my baby. My baby, baby, baby. I need that energy for you. So, do I have the time to, to be feeding that? I don't. I don't. I can strongly suggest, you know, find things that make you happy. Find things that that make you feel, yeah, that make you feel like you. That that bring out the best, the best parts of you. Even if that man, you know, cut people yeah. off. Hey, Taliqua might be fun. She might be, you know, a, you know, a cool girl, or whatever. But if you feel like every time you get around her, you have to you have to put Sarah down. You know, we all got a Taliqua and a Sarah. Homegirl Taliqua might be, you know, not not it. She might be the one that's encouraging that type of you know behavior, and it's like it's like cute. It's like fun. If you let that stuff get deeply rooted into you, guess what? You will be. 60 70 you know 80 years old and then you'll be old and cynical and nobody wants to be bothered with you and then your great kids gonna be like man i don't like being around uh i don't like being around grandma she 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 too 
cynical. You know, you start to be one of those people, oh, excuse them, they don't have a filter. You know, she's so blind, and it's not cute. It's not cute to be that way. It's, you know, a lot of people get me mistaken as, like, being soft and stuff like that. And for a while, I felt like I had something to prove. I really did. Like, I felt, I felt very self-conscious about that. Because I was like, nah, you know, I don't want nobody to think that I'm soft, me, you know. And I had a lot of anger just, you know, stored up and, and built inside of me just from life happening around me. Uh, and I didn't know how to channel, like, channel that. But I had to realize it's not everybody else's fault. You know, the things that you go through is the things that you go through. And you live and you learn. You know, even if it's not a mistake that that you you made, if it's you know somebody else's um, mistake, and you just so happen to be in a crossfire, it everything is gonna you know be okay at the end of the day. But do you reflect that type of energy onto other people? No, you don't. You want everybody to feel as though you are a blessing to them. You know. It, it, it's just it, it's so much greater and so much more rewarding than to it's so much more re rewarding to present that to somebody and and just to be able to give that type of love so I realized at the end of the day like I would you know I would have to fight sometimes I did fight you know and I am not the type of person that likes to go back and forth but I had to learn that it can't always be physical you know and I, I learned that and that was that's a long story I'll tell y'all that some other time but I learned you know that things can always be physical because you get older and you know it ain't ain't like you know and you can run home and tell your mama hey mama you know I got a write up I got suspended for three days no, when you get older, ain't none of that. You're going to jail, period. <laughs> like, so I'm glad that I, I kind of learned that, you know, earlier on, and especially before I had home, and I'm still learning, but, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, a thought flashed in my head. You know, I should just backhand this girl because she just get loud. No but do you do that? I guess what? I would have been sitting here today unhappy um, and unemployed. <laughs> okay? I would have been probably with a whole... Uh, she would have pressed charges. I know it. But, like, that's not okay. I'm too old to be acting like that. You know? And nothing is deeply rooted inside of me. That's why I had to go ahead and just nip that on in the bud. Because I was just like, uh-uh, ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm going to be acting all crazy with you. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not even going to... I'm not going to say stoop down to your level. I'm not even going to stoop down to that level. Because I was there before. And guess what? I'm not going backwards in my life. I cannot show this little boy that that's the way to live i can't i can't do it so i am not gonna prolong this any more guys thank you so much for watching <laughs> stay hydrated stay blessed get you some water okay when you find yourself about to lash out or get out on somebody you say you know what hold on hold on <laughs> and you Take five, count, go drink some water. Drink some ice cold water. I bet you that'll calm you all the way down, okay? But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. And please stay tuned for my next video. Bye. Wait, me and Josiah got to say y'all bye. Bye.